Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'll be making this sweater on a circular knitting machine. Okay, the circular knitting machine that I'll be using for this sweater is the Centro 48 Needles. Uh, it's actually the Adi circular knitting machine because the Adi uh, counts the row, so I prefer the Adi. But you can use, be using your Centro 48 Needles and as well the Centro 40 if you are making a small size, okay? Just because the tubes, I'm using tubes to make the sleeves always, okay? And the sleeves have to be made on with at, at least 46 stitches for the size from medium to extra large. Okay, this pattern will be available on my pattern shop and the description will be down below. And as well, this pattern asks for panels here. It has panels on both sides, okay? And so I have a course that I'm just releasing this week, I think, where I teach you guys how to make panels and how to perfect your panel edges as well. So if you don't know how to make a panel, I'm gonna teach you in depth in this course. So this course is available down in the description below as well. You can dive into the course before you make this full sweater, okay? And as well for this sweater, I'll be giving you full a full tutorial of how to make this granny square here. Okay, it's the same granny square for the whole thing and the ribbing made out of crochet as well. And as well at the end of the course, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a, an eye cord on a big circular knitting machine and how to make this tassel as well. Let's get into it right now. I really love this design, it's comfortable to wear and it's really like stylish, I think. It's kind of my style, I like like beach style. Okay, and it doesn't use much yarn at all, okay? I use 300 grams for this one. So um, to make this project, I'm using this beautiful yarn. It's a very soft yarn and as well you can use for the whole, your whole project. It's a medium size I'm making. You can use only three rolls of this yarn, okay? It's 100 grams has 360 meters. So if you use the same length with the same uh, grams, you're gonna for sure get uh, the same gauge that I have, okay? I'm gonna put the gauge on the description below as well as the pattern, the link for the pattern if you wanna buy on it with the other size because uh, today I'm explaining just the medium, which is my size, and always on the patterns I put all the other size. So you're gonna need a 3.5 millimeter hook just to make the um, green squares. And that's where we're gonna start, okay? So what I do first is the green squares. And uh, I made a few here on both sides. So this is my original design that I got inspired on Pinterest. I saw this design with these strings going like this and I thought it was cool. I'm gonna make a tassel as well, I think, at the end of each one of the strings. Stay with me until the end of this video because I'm gonna show you how to easily make an eye cord on your knitting machine. For this part here, I'm gonna make 32 green squares. It, it is two rows and we join as we go the green squares. And I'm gonna show you how to join them now and how to make the green square now. To start with this green square and I'm gonna put the image, the graphic here. I'm going to start like this and I'm gonna just wrap around twice on my finger. And then put the hook through that first loop, pull the second one and twist it. Simple as that. And then you're gonna make your first chain. And then it's done. It's so easy this way. So after that, we're going to chain two and make two double crochets. All this row will be made inside that loop that we are going to close after we finish it. And then two chains and then three more double crochets. We're gonna have four times three double crochets with 
two chains in between because we are making a square. Let me show you here. It's a bit dark, this one, but that's what we are doing. So I made total of 42 squares for this project, so you know. And then chain two, three more double crochet. Two more, and then we're gonna close the loop and put the hook through that second chain on the beginning, just like this. Okay, slip stitch, and then we're gonna chain five. Just start the next row. So, on the next row, we're gonna have four corners. Because again, we are making a square, and these four corners are going to be two, three double crochets, two chains, and another three double crochets, always in the two chains we had in each corner. Okay, so this is how it's like. And then chain two in between them and go to the next corner. So I'll be repeating these corners four times. So in this last corner, I made my two chains. And now because I already have the first two chains that will be um, like one double crochet, I'm not making three, I'm making only two. And the third one will be the chains. So two and then slip stitch in that third chain. Slip stitch and then single crochet one. Chain two to go to the next row and then double crochet two more. The chains, they always count as a double crochet here. And then chain two and we're gonna make the same corner again. Okay, um, chain one here, and then we are going to start joining because so here where we have the two double crochet, the two chains will be making always three double crochets with two chains in between. So it's just a repetition this last row, as you can see here. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join on both sides, so I have a tube at the end, okay, like here. See, I want to close a tube here of five squares for this sleeve. That's the bottom of the sleeve. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to join both because it's quite easy. And it looks really neat, I think. So um, to join here, I'm going to join as I go. I'm just going to single crochet on the other side. Then I'm going to double crochet three more. Again, this is very basic crochet. If you want to just go forward and see the rest of it. And then in this next space, I'm going to always be making the single crochets in these spaces here. No chains, okay? Otherwise, there will be too much space in between them, as you can see. It's a nice space, otherwise it's going to be too open, so I didn't put any chains straight to the double crochets with a single crochet on the other side in the middle. And here on the corners, I make three. No chain, single crochet, and I make one chain just to go to the other side so it has a little more space to grow. I thought it would be better. And then chain two, three double crochets in the chain. So we will always be working on top of the chains. Two chains, 
three double crochets. And now I'm going to make these three double crochets. I'm going to chain one just to get the right tension to turn. And then I'm going to single crochet in this next corner and just repeat everything I did. No chains, just double crochets and a single crochet to join on the other square. And just repeat this all the way and when you get here you just slip stitch in that second uh, chain and then we, you're gonna have a tube from this. Now I close this with a slip stitch in that second chain and then you can just cut make a chain cut your yarn. In this way you have a tube ready to be uh, seam together with the tube that you're gonna make for your sleeve. I'm not gonna explain in this tutorial how to make a tube because I think most people know. I used 90 rows for this sleeve so you can make two tubes with 90 rows okay and then and then right now I'm gonna show you how to seam the crochet with the tube. Now, I decided to make my seaming with this, uh, the help of these circular knitting needles. And the reason why is because I think you can, you get to see the stitches better, just, just make it easier, I think, it makes it much easier. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put all the stitches from this last row here. And like this same way, you can um, you can make ribbon. Like if you don't want to make crochet on the bottom of this um, sweater, you can make just one by one ribbon with these same needles. So this is the way you do it. And now that you got here to the end, make sure they, they're all inside the needle. Just pull it this way. So here you have all stitches in this um, knitting needle. And you can just uh, start making the ribbing if you want or whatever. It's very easy. So I'm going to use my tapestry needle. And just get that same tail that you removed from there. That's another reason why I do that, so I have the tail. So place it this way and then place the place your squares right in front of it. First thing you're gonna do is put through this first corner and if you want as well you can place the markers here. Okay, just place a marker here so you have you know the position okay i don't need to really place markers but because i kind of know how many i have to go through each time so I start on this corner here and just go straight to the square from the tail to the square and then here we are going to get this is going to be a little annoying this circular needle but it's okay Okay, so from that first stitch loop here, that you can see here, we're gonna get this first loop and then the next loop, right after that. And then we are going to go through two loops on the other side, so one, and two this way and you can finish if you can finish these tails before it's probably a better idea and now here we are going to get this loop and the loop of the next stitch this way and this is the reason why i like to make with a needle because it's, you can easily see the stitch 
and just go through two of the green square there and see I'll be making this all around and after you finish just make a little knot on the back of your project so after you made these two sleeves you can make uh, this part here which for a medium I made 16 on this side first and just joining on one side and then I made 16 on the other side and then I joined here and then I found a way also to match the colors like this because they are very different and so um, from the front part I wanted the v-neck to be longer so I only uh, joined four together on the beginning and this is going to change for each size, okay? So if you want a bigger size, just uh, purchase the pattern on Etsy or on my website, knitchingmachinepatterns.com. And then I left six open for the neck. And then I have six more on the back, okay? So do this first. And then after you did that, because you have a you have uh, a sleeve ready what I normally do is I put a square right next to the stitches and then I see how many stitches make one square okay so that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 stitches okay so I know that because I have 16 in length here I need to make 16 times 14 for the panel that's gonna go right next to it, okay? So 16 squares times 14 stitches. And that's how I make all my all my patterns. And this is the reason why I always make the sleeves first, because the sleeves they normally have a size from around 70 rows to 100 so if you made like if you get to the end of the project and you think you made too many too many rows on your sleeve what you can do as well and this is why the circular needle is so useful you can put a circular needle through the stitches like this and just open all the way until you know you think you have the right length for your sleeve and also this I'm gonna probably do that too for this one even even if I, it is the right size just so I can seam it easier after I've been doing that I don't know it's just you know the things can be made in so many different ways and so that's what you do you just get one side of each stitch and then when you finish doing that all around it you can remove the rows that are left on the top here so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these two panels they're just straight panels I'm gonna use 31 stitches on each side and of course this change is gonna change for a small or a large and extra large and I'm making 224 rows each okay so let's do that now so put the row counter back to zero and let's go in front behind front behind for 31 stitches thirty one boom make sure the yarn is underneath here and so you can start the first row Always at the end go one extra so the yarn goes underneath this little thing here, this last piece 
and then make sure the yarn goes inside that first hook as well. I'm just gonna do make 224 rows like this. Well, I finished making my panel and I'm leaving a very long tail so I can uh, seaming with the mattress stitch and uh, the squares that I already made. Now I'm going to make one row without the yarn and I'm just going to remove all the stitches with another color yarn. So this is how the our, my v-neck is going to look like. You can see here, it's shorter here. So I have more squares on this side, on the back, and less squares on the front. You can change that if you want. You can make the front exactly like the back. I don't think it would be a problem. So now what we are going to do is you're going to seam this on the side here, both panels. And then, on, and then after that, we are going to finish the neck. Because I like to always finish the neck before I uh, put these leaves in. So it's not that much weight to finish the project. So um, this is our next step, just seam the sides here. So before you start uh, uh, seaming both sides together, make sure you place a marker right in the middle and then a few markers down the way just to make sure you reach the same spot on both sides on both parts of it you can add this and in the middle and then one more and if you need more of them just add more because um, sometimes, you know, you can get lost of where you are and then when you finish, you can have, you might have a much longer niche than the crochet part of it. So I find this way very easier to do that. So, and it always works. There you go. So use this last long tail to start seaming. Again, we are going to do similar to what we did um, when you join the, the sleeves. But this is going to be, um, I'm going to be using the mattress stitch. So right on the corner there, right on the corner. Guys, make sure you comment on my videos if you like my, if you enjoy my patterns and subscribe to my channel. It's very important to me because, you know, I see people making very similar things to me and then they get more views than me. I don't think it's cool. Anyway, let's use this second bit of the like we did before. So we're gonna go under and under, let me see. We're gonna go this way here and here. On one side. Probably better to cut this tail here so it's not on the way. And then here we are going to go through this bit here. It's right in the middle of the stitches. And if you, that's the way we're gonna join the both panels on the side after as well. Okay, so we're gonna be seaming this the whole way, all the way to the other side now. And then the other side here as well. So now that I'm seamed both sides together, that's what I have now. Still not sure about this yarn choice. I think if you probably make just a solid color with some green squares and two colors, same colors, would probably be look better, I reckon. 
Anyway, so what you do next after seaming the inside parts, we're gonna seam this side here. So I already did this one and that's the mattress stitch. It looks pretty perfect. So the first thing you do to make this stitch, and I left just open here for the sleeves, okay? So first thing you do is you have to measure here and just make sure it's right in the middle. Here. And then we're gonna place a marker right where this one is. And all you do is you stretch that, uh, stretch this tube a little bit and place right where it ends here. Okay, and I made sure as well because I already made the other side that both are in the same place as well. Grab a new, new, some new yarn. And we're gonna start at the bottom here. And then we're gonna be using that same stitch we did on the other side. Make sure you always grab the same stitch. So just repeat this all the way until you reach this marker here, okay? Once you finish both sides, just make sure they are on the same... You have the same size here for the sleeves. And then just leave the tails here because we're gonna put the sleeves later just so we can make... first make the the v-cut here and also finish the bottom of it i was even thinking like if you if you would like to do that you can probably put green squares here too i don't think i'm doing that right now i'm just gonna make single crochet all around it so just start with a slip knot and then put the hook through that first stitch and just single crochet in it or slip slip stitch so put the hook through always that make sure you're using the last loop and grab the last loop yarn over slip stitch if you can't see the loop just pull the two of them that's because i didn't use the waist yarn it's normally easier when you use the waist yarn. Make sure it's not too tight as well. Now, once you finish with each side, you can just um, remove this yarn here. And also this last stitch here, because it was on the back, just because of the mattress stitch, you can just uh, make both together, the first one of here and that last one. Then I'm just gonna make single crochets here as well. Make one where the two chains are. And then one in each double crochet and just repeat all around removing that waist yarn at the end. So after I made that single crochet, um, that slip stitch row, I made a full double crochet row. And um, 
this how it's like now still not too sure about these colors but anyway i like the design though um so finish here with a uh, slip stitch in that second chain i had to go up two chains to make this double crochet row okay now i'm making two double two chains and i'm gonna make a few more double crochets but then i saw online and i saw a stitch like this but going like just i want to I want it to just go straight, so I'm gonna show you how to make this little stitch here. Actually, quite enjoy this. I might make a design with this soon. Anyway, guys, so you go up two chains, and then I'm gonna make two more double crochets. I'm working one stitch to every stitch. Okay. And then here, what I'm going to do to make that stitch is I'm going to go underneath that stem and just make the double crochet this way. And then three more double crochets. I'm going to make every three. And I think it's going to look sort of like ribbing. So I'm gonna make a few rows just like this and so every time I have that stitch there I'm just gonna repeat right on top of it and I'm gonna probably make I wanna like a ribbing size so I'm gonna probably make three more other than this here okay so I finished the ribbing here and I made eight rows of that same first row that I showed to you guys I think it looks really good because it kind of imitates um, an actual ribbing but it's easier because you do on the round instead of doing this way like a normal ribbing and you can even make this little bits closer if you want you can you know just have two double crochets in between them but yeah liked it so now I already added one of the sleeves here i'm gonna show you how how i added the second sleeve after but first i'm gonna just make this finishing here it's a simple picot stitch and a double crochet row underneath it starting just any part of it can be any spot with a you can start with a single crochet here just pull the tail, make two more chains, and then two other double crochets here. After the three double crochets, because the two chains on the beginning they count as one, you're gonna make one chain only, okay? And then three more double crochets. Chain one, three other double crochets. Chain one. And here I made one here, one in the middle, and one here. One chain and repeat all the way around. So I'm gonna finish this here with a chain and a slip stitch in that second chain of the beginning. And then from here I'm going to make a picot stitch which is one single crochet, two single crochets, three, three, and then chain two. And then we're gonna make a single crochet in that same single crochet and skip one after so one two three 
two. And right here we are going to make another one. And skip here and repeat. And now we are going to place the sleeve here and just seam this way. So, so just place this on the best position for you. For me, it's like this. And then pull this uh, waist yarn so it's really short, so you can remove on the go. And now we're just gonna start right in this corner. And what we are going to do is this. We're going to put underneath and to the top. So going from this side to that side and then this side to this side. So you actually form the same shape of the this stitch right underneath it. Okay, and then here we're going to do the same metric stitch in that same um, stitch we were before, so just go and keep going in that same one for two, just like this, and then pull it. So once you go through the stitch, you can just remove this here, and then we're gonna get the loop of the one before together with a new one here. And then you can just remove this. And this is how you attach a tube to a panel. Okay, and don't forget to add that. I removed the marker, I'm gonna put it back. But it's basically that, if you feel like you have too many stitches here at the end in each one of the sides, just uh, skip less here or skip less or more here on this side here. Like instead of, if you don't have enough, instead of skipping, instead of going with the needle through two of them, you can go through just one of them, okay? And this is gonna... Um, this is gonna make you reach the end of both at the same place. Okay, this is our join. It's quite nice. I actually like to start on the back part of it, so starting on the back here. I'm gonna make a full row. Mm, the single crochet there. A uh, slip stitch there in any place really, and then we are going to just um, single crochet on top of this tail and then just single crochet all around it for this first row. Now, after we finish this first row here, just um, fold it so you know uh, this is the front part. This is the the, all the squares are going to be uh, facing the v-neck for the front and then um, we will need a few markers to just place wherever you want to place them or you can even try on yourself and, and, and have a look on the mirror where you want the strings to go but I'm thinking around here, the first one and that's where we're gonna make the holes. Now just uh, repeat the same, the same. Um, finish this row, the row before, with just a, a slip stitch. And now we just can, can just repeat the same row again. So, but when you reach the markers, we are going to make the holes. Now, just before the first marker, I'm going to make one, two, let me see if two is enough. 
gonna make three chains. Yeah, I'm gonna make three chains. Remove the first one. And then I'm going to skip one, two underneath it. So on the third one, I'm gonna single crochet again. And that makes our little string hole, the first one. And now that I made all the little holes, I'm gonna keep repeating just this single crochet row until I'm happy with um, with this neck finish. You can all, you can as well finish with this if you wanna make just the same as the sleeves with this little stitch here. Things would be cool as well. But yeah, just uh, cover here with two single crochets on top of these chains when you come across them on the next row. That's basically it. Now, um, finished here the last bit. I made four rows, okay, of, at the end. Four rows of single crochet here and here are my little holes. So now I'm going to make... Um, so kind of an eye cord. I'm gonna use uh, the panel mode of the machine to make this string or this eye cord. I'm gonna just make a very simple way, just with four stitches. And then put inside there after that fourth one. And just make sure the first needle grabs the stitch. That's it. Make sure you always go one further. So when you come back, the yarns underneath this bit here. So it's gonna fold inside this way and then here I'm just gonna pull it until it's like this and then I'm gonna attach a tassel here so this is gonna be my eye cord just like that. 